Hello. Welcome to my channel. Today we will look at how to reset a forgotten password in Windows 8, Windows 10 and Windows 11. I must say right away that this method is only suitable for a local account, and if you have forgotten your PIN or Microsoft account password, then the method from my other video will work for you. You will find a link to this video in the description and pinned comment. It's actually a big problem when you can't open your computer. You are trying to remember your password, but it doesn't work. You can reset your password and come up with a new one, but you didn't create a password reset flash drive. Do not worry, look carefully, repeat exactly after me, step by step, and we will succeed. And so, in order to reset the password, we need to open a command prompt, and first I will show you four ways to open a command prompt. Method number one. On your keyboard, press and hold the shift key. And then click, here. And restart your computer. The automatic system restore program opens. Click, troubleshoot. Then, advanced options. Now click, command prompt. This was the first way to open a command prompt. Depending on your operating system configuration, the program may ask you for your password before opening a command prompt. In this case, I suggest opening the command prompt in another way. For those who have found the first method to work, you can skip the second, third and fourth methods and go straight to the steps in the command prompt. Method number two. If your system asks for a password to open a command prompt, you need to connect a Windows 7, 8, Windows 10 or Windows 11 installation USB flash drive to your computer, or you can also use a Windows installation DVD. Usually, using such a bootable USB flash drive or DVD disk, Windows is installed on the computer. Whether your version of Windows is Home or Pro, any edition of Windows will work to reset your password. Connect this USB flash drive or Windows DVD to your computer and restart your computer. Immediately after the start of the reboot, continuously press a certain key on the keyboard to bring up the boot menu. I press the F12 key, for you it could be, F8, F9, F11, F12, or some other key, there is no single standard and different computers may have different keys to call the boot menu. The boot menu opens, find the installation USB flash drive or DVD in the boot menu. Press, Enter. The Windows install menu opens, but we won't install anything, we'll just press Shift and F10, at the same time. And the command line immediately opened. Depending on the operating system configuration, sometimes Shift plus F10 does not open a command prompt, then you can use another method. Method number 3. The first few steps of the fourth method are exactly the same as method number 3. We boot the computer from the Windows installation USB flash drive or Windows DVD, and wait for the Windows installation menu to open. But we will not install Windows here either. Click, Next. In the menu we will click, Repair your computer. The automatic system recovery program has opened. Click, Troubleshoot. Now press, Command Prompt. If you don't have Windows bootable USB flash drive, or a Windows DVD, then try the fourth method open a command prompt, sometimes this method works. Method number 4. Turn on or restart your computer or laptop. And after the system boot window appears, where white dots rotate in a circle, immediately press the button, reset, to force restart the computer before entering the system. When the computer restarts, just force restart it again in the same way. To force restart the laptop, after the appearance of white dots rotating in a circle, immediately press the button, turn on, and hold until the laptop turns off. Then turn on the laptop and do the same again. If your desktop computer does not have a reset button, after turning on the computer, just like on a laptop, press the button, turn on, and hold it until the computer turns off. Due to a different BIOS configuration, it is possible that instead of white dots rotating in a circle, the Windows logo will appear on your screen, then you immediately force restart your computer or laptop. Forcibly restart your computer or laptop two to three times, and a white font will appear on your screen, this is the system recovery program being loaded. 
the automatic system recovery program has opened. Click here. Then, troubleshoot. Now click, command prompt. A command prompt is opened. Enter the command, notepad. Press, enter. A notepad window has opened, now click, file. Then, open. And in that window, click, this PC. Here we see several disks and now you need to find the disk on which Windows is located and remember the letter that this disk is designated by, this will be necessary for our further actions. The fact is that here the drive with Windows does not necessarily have to be designated by the letter C, it can be designated by the letter D or another letter. To find a Windows disk, you need to pay attention to the volume of these disks, usually the Windows disk should be the largest of all these disks, but this only happens if only one physical disk is connected to your computer. Perhaps your computer has several physical disks and then you can identify the Windows disk if you open it and see folders that are usually located on the C drive. Typically, the Windows disk contains the Program Files folder, the Windows folder, User and other folders. My Windows is on a partition marked C, but yours may be a different letter, my local drive D is system reserved and mine is much smaller than drive C. I open the local drive C, and here we see the Operating System folders Program Files, the Windows folder, user and other folders. This means that my Windows drive is designated by the letter C. Please remember the drive letter of your drive where your Windows is located, and we will continue with our video tutorial. We close this window, close notepad, and now we need to write several commands to reset the password in the command prompt. Move. Space. I'll write my drive letter. But you must write your own letter which is assigned to your local Windows drive, then colon, slash, Windows, slash, System32, slash, Utilman, dot, exe, space, I'll write my drive letter again, but you must write your own letter, which is assigned to your local Windows drive, colon, slash, Windows, slash, System32, slash, Utilman2, dot, exe, press, enter. Now write, copy, space. I'll write my drive letter. But you must write your own letter, which is assigned to your local Windows drive. Then colon, slash, Windows, slash, System32, slash, CMD, dot, exe. Space. I'll write my drive letter again. But you must write your own letter which is assigned to your local Windows drive, colon, slash, Windows, slash, System32, slash, Utilman, dot, exe. Press, enter. Now write, Wuputal, Space, reboot, press, enter, and the computer will restart. My computer has rebooted, I hope everything went well for you, and now you need to click on this button. The command line has opened, here write the command, net, space, user, press, enter, here we need to find the name of our account, my name, Malik, now we will write the following command, net, space, user, space, I write my account name, Malik, you write your name, space, put a sign, asterisk, press, enter, press, enter, 
Press, enter again. Now we have removed the password, instead of the password we have set an empty space, and this has completed the password reset process. But I have to tell you one more addition to this process. If your account name is two or more words, that's a problem. In this case, try to write all these few words without a space. For example, if the name is Bill Gates, write, Bill Gates. Or try putting such a name in quotation marks, try several options, and this should solve the problem. To exit a command prompt, write, exit, and press, enter. Now you do not need to enter a password, and to enter Windows, just click, here. And so, we reset the forgotten password, we were able to enter Windows, but now our computers are left without protection, and for everyone who wants to set a new password, I will show you how to do it right. Click the button, Settings. Here click, Accounts. Sign in Options. Then click, Password. And in this window, click, Add. Now you need to come up with a new password and write it here. Write the password again. Now password hint. Next. New password set. Click, finish. Now my computer is protected and I hope that what I just said could help you. And if you found it useful, please share my video with anyone. Write me a comment, I will answer all your questions and try to help you. Thank you very much for watching my video. Good luck.